On the morning of February 5th, 2010, the bulk carrier Vogue Trader was on its way to deliver a full load of coal at Barber's Point Harbor in Oahu, Hawaii. As the 734-foot vessel approached buoy number two, the ship became lodged in the coral reefs near the harbor entrance. The U.S. Coast Guard, local authorities, and NOAA were immediately on the scene to determine the cause of the accident and to assess the damage to the surrounding coral reef. Recovery operations dislodged the vessel from the area, but as the ship was towed away, it crushed, broke, detached, and buried various species of coral. The end result was a barren wasteland of sea bottom where a coral reef and marine life were once in abundance. On October 30th, 2013, teams of divers from NOAA and the state of Hawaii began emergency restoration of the coral reefs. The divers first removed rubble from the seafloor to prevent loose pieces from moving around with the waves and causing further damage to the reef. A specialized airlift suction system was designed and used to remove 700 metric tons of rubble from the bottom. Coral reattachment efforts began as soon as the rubble removal was completed. Most of the corals that were used for reattachment had been salvaged after a massive 10-year swell event that generated 30-foot waves and detached corals from the reef. The swell event took place as restoration efforts were underway. These large coral heads would have otherwise died if they hadn't been collected for this purpose. The technique of using corals from natural events to restore a man-made injury had never been done before in Hawaii. This proved to be a great opportunity for scientists in Kaleloa, Barbers Point. Reattaching the corals to the sea bottom involved a three-step process. The first step was to use a pressure washer to clean the bottom surface of debris. The next step was to manually clean the corals to prepare them for reattachment. The final step was to mold a cement base onto the cleared surface, then secure the coral pieces onto the molded base. More than 600 coral colonies of different species and sizes were reattached. One year after restoration efforts were completed, biologists surveyed the site and found that 89% of the reattached corals survived. They also observed newly settled corals and reef fish that had begun to repopulate the area. Based on these site observations, the restoration effort was deemed a success. Thank you.